so Marissa caught two more bunnies last night hanging out so but we have the rabbit hutches for them but we do not have the little houses to go inside so we're gonna build those tonight and get them get them little houses so they can go hide away when they feel like they they need to hide they seem fairly friendly Not too freaked out by us, so they're not camera shy, that's cool. This one at least. Ooh, got you, Marissa. Oh, there's Bandersnatch. This is one that we've had for quite a while. He's, he's a character. Huh, Bandy? Yeah, we're gonna go hide. This is the one that we caught over the winter, like what, two months, three months ago? A few months ago. This is the one, and he's still pretty skittish at times, but he's, he's pretty warm. Yep, the other one looks exactly like him. Our mess right here. There's his hole right here. I haven't tried to give him loves. He's another cutie, black and white, freckled. So we're gonna build them little, little houses. I have some call lumber that I bought from Home Depot that I'll use up for that. So. I got it for really cheap, uh, for five foot lengths. I was paying 51 cents a board, so it doesn't cost me hardly anything. And whenever I saw it in, in Home Depot, I would buy it and throw it in my shed because I always knew I'd use it eventually. So I, I was buying that lumber before I ever had my sawmill. So now I just go out and mill my own lumber. But since I have it, I'm gonna use it get it out of my way. It's awful dark in here so I won't be doing a lot of filming but it is raining outside so I'm gonna do it inside my covered roof area. Can't call it a garage because it really doesn't have even electricity in it. It's just a roof but uh, <clears throat> those are the boards we're gonna use. My saw, I've got it set up. 12 inches. I'm just going to cut a whole bunch of boards 12 inches and screw them together to make little walls, little houses. I'll show you what they look like when we're done cutting them up and maybe when while we're screwing them together. There's the boards all cut. We're going to drill pilot holes through just so that they don't split when we're screwing them together. There's the base for one of them. Doesn't take very long to put it together.
You get the idea. Now we'll, we'll screw that one on. That'll be the front. It makes a little house. And we just used a uh, an old coffee can to draw the circle. And then we'll use the jigsaw to, to cut that circle out. Put the wire mesh on the bottom and they will be done. Give you a picture when we're all finished. So there it is finished. And then this pops off and that just gives them a good place for their bedding to stick and stay but their droppings will go right through. And so we just put these dog ears on the sides so that it won't slide off but it's loose enough that you can take the top on and off is pretty fast uh, without any effort and that that is the little rabbit house all built ready to go to the rabbits they will be happy they're very curious and about their new houses. Sorry about the bars. It's, you know. back in that corner. Hello, peekaboo. Happy, happy, happy. She's a very cute bunny. Very happy to be fed. No more digging at the roots. Huh, no more digging up roots. Inside, did you put him inside or did he go in by himself? I found himself. You found your little hydrogen already, huh? Check it out. Welcome home. You're a very pretty bunny rabbit. So here's a, a quick thought, um, something for prepping, that I have never heard anybody uh, say anything about is prepping live traps to catch bunny rabbits. Uh, <clears throat> so you're not just out hunting the rabbits with snares and, and uh, catching them and just killing them. But you can actually catch a couple rabbits and put them in cages and breed them from there. So say something happens where you don't have any any rabbits, you can use your live traps to uh, catch rabbits and put them in cages and breed them from there and have food instead of just one meal or... You have food for uh, quite a while. It's one of those ideas about for prepping. Just something that I've never heard anybody talk about. Uh, maybe just trying to go out and get a live trap. So that uh, they have that for, for prepping. <clears throat> I picked these up at a garage sale. And... I believe I paid $25 a piece for them. So that's, you know, always keep your eye out at garage sales. And then I have, anytime I see a pet carrier at a garage sale, I will pick it up. 
because at one point I had quite a few birds and if there was ever a forest fire I wanted to be able to just go catch my birds and you know if my property was ever in danger of a forest fire I could catch my birds and just take them with us so yeah I, I grabbed I still buy them because I plan on getting more more chickens and stuff so I want to be able to have enough to put all of my chickens in and my rabbits and we just added two more rabbits to our um, bunny concern with uh, these live traps and we caught them last night and Marissa caught them last night uh, with the live traps and you just saw us make the, the little houses for them, so pretty cool. Just an idea I, I thought I'd throw at you. I hope everybody's having a great evening, and I will talk to you later. And thank you for watching Not So Remote Alaska. Please like, and uh, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. And leave a comment, I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much.